moments later. So we have Hello. just made it to Istanbul. We are both absolutely shattered. So Hello. please ignore. If you sound a bit dead, and I didn't really vlog the process of me traveling and stuff. As you guys know, I do suffer with travel anxiety, so it was really hard for me. You did but really I did, well, yeah, I did really well actually. So I was quite proud of myself this time around. But anyways, we have just got to the hotel, had a shower, got ready, yep. and now we are going to go and see if we can grab some food. I think we just had, oh, what did we have? Oh my God, all day, like basically traveling. We tra we left the house at like half five in the morning and all day. And now it's like, what time is it here? Five okay. or three. Okay, so it's 5 o'clock UK time in and all we had all day was like some small pastry that we got as soon as we landed in Turkey. So we're both absolutely starving. So we're gonna go yeah. and then go for food. Hopefully we find something nice. I've got my glasses on because my eyes are absolutely aching and I'm shattered. So yeah, we're gonna go. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Um, I actually, I don't know. I'll see. If we get some nice food, I'll vlog it. If not, I'll probably start the vlog tomorrow on a fresh start when we're both a bit lively. <laughs> had a good night's sleep. And then we'll start day one of Turkey. But so far, impressions. Yeah, it's good. It's really, nice. really nice actually. Beautiful, isn't it? Like, we came at like sunset time. We came it sunset so nice and it was so beautiful. If you follow me on Instagram, Amina.chevy, you'll see everything like pretty much live. So obviously go there and follow me first because obviously you'll see everything live. But Let's we're go. basically vlogging from the toilets because the toilets have literally the best lighting. So I'll probably catch up with you guys actually when we... I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow because I've got a bit of a headache, a bit tired, obviously. I've been traveling since five, half five in the morning. So I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. Fresh start, day one of Istanbul. This is typically, well, this is technically day one, but it's pretty much a night. So yeah. I'll probably vlog um, tomorrow then. and we shall love you and leave you. Day two in Turkey. Woo -hoo. I feel like I've got tits. That was disturbing. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to day two in Istanbul. We have just nipped back into the hotel after breakfast because today is quite chilly. It's a bit windy here, so um, Adol's getting a coat, as you guys can see. I've got this gorgeous, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've got like this beautiful dress that I picked up from yeah from um zara this is the first time i'm wearing it and i actually really really like it i'm wearing it with um open shoes instead of trainers because i was just wasn't sure about the weather and then i've got those actually i'm wearing all zara today how old is that <laughs> my leather jacket is from zara my bag is from zara, zara day, yeah. my dress oh my god i didn't even realize till now yeah everything i'm wearing is pretty much zara and i'm loving it so love that for me but anyways we had a decent breakfast we had toast with some oh cheese my god. Or top shop. Is yours on top shop? Wow. Yeah. But anyways, plan for today is we're gonna go to the Blue Mosque and we're gonna go to the Grand Bazaar. I'm really excited. I hope the weather cheers up a little bit. It's a bit grey and dull today. But um as long as it doesn't rain, we'll just take an umbrella just in case it does. As long as it doesn't rain and it's like really, really cold, then we're fine. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm really excited. I've always wanted to go to the Blue Mosque for like the longest time ever. It's like one of my dreams I've had for so long so to actually go there I'm so excited so I'm gonna bring you guys along with us as always I'm gonna be vlogging our whole journey inshallah and we're hopefully gonna plan to do different things every single day like fingers crossed that's the case look at Adol just spraying himself with perfume yesterday oh my god so I kind of wish we took the camera with us because the last time I vlogged with you guys obviously I left you at the, um, at the hotel and then when we went out we went to like the most amazing um lounge slash cafe Lula thanks cafe. to Ado because he um he was recommended it by his friend actually it was called lulu um lounge and it was so sick like the vibe there is so amazing so if you do come to istanbul and you want to go to like a cool like cafe slash food slash like shisha then definitely go That's to lulu shisha, yeah this shisha was so paying go to lulu cafe would 100 percent recommend it i would say book in advance because it gets really really busy we had to wait about <clears throat> 22 30 minutes so it wasn't too bad 
um but yeah the vibe there is so sick so definitely definitely would recommend it yeah the view was so stunning you can literally see the whole istanbul at night it was just amazing i definitely want to go during the daytime so i can imagine like i can imagine it'd be so beautiful but anyways we are off to breakfast breakfast no we had breakfast we are off out that's where we're going um and then we'll catch you guys when we get there we're gonna walk it because it's only like a 10 minute walk from our hotel because we're pretty central like this hotel is pretty central so it's quite cool close to everything so we're gonna walk it and we will see you guys when we get there Guys, we have just made it to the Blue Mosque and it is stunning. Literally so beautiful. But they're just currently renovating it, so it looks a bit like this. But from the outside, it's absolutely gorgeous. We definitely want to do a tour soon. Look at Adol, just lost. But it's so, so pretty. It proper lives up to like its name. It's so beautiful. I feel like it's so crazy that we're actually here. In it, yes, it's, it's like it. oh, you we have to put. Go oh, we're gonna go in the mosque now. We need to take our shoes off though. Okay, let's go. So we're in the Blue Mosque at the moment and it's so beautiful in it. We've taken so many pictures and everything here is just so beautiful. Oh my god, you can see the guy, is he doing the Imam or something? Yeah. What is he doing? The guy is praying. Yeah, but anyways, it's so so pretty here. We took loads of pictures outside. Oh my god, you guys, if you're not following my Instagram, make sure you're following it. I'm gonna say that every single time here because it's so so beautiful. But yeah, there's an old guy praying and it's so cute. I need to show you guys. So we are just walking to the Grand Bazaar now. We're taking some shortcuts. Oh, this is toilets. What did you say here? Uh, upstairs. Oh. Yeah. So we're just walking to the. Oh, Careful. steep. Oh my God. My legs. So yeah, we're just walking. Please ignore my scarf, by the way, guys. I'm looking like an absolute mess right now. But we're just gonna ignore that. Anyways, we went to what's that place that we went to? With all the shops, huh? Arresta Bazaar. Arresta Bazaar, and I got. Cubit. So I'm really excited with the stuff I got. I got some gifts for my mom, my mother-in-law, and a few bits and bobs. We bought them gifts already. But yeah, now we are going to the main bazaar, which I'm so excited about. But the amount of walking we've did, we've done already, my legs are aching. But I guess it, it works out in, in terms of like gym. It kind of covers for the gym, innit? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Morning, hands or whatever.
Okay guys, so we just sat down for tea because we're absolutely shattered. We've been like walking for so many hours and we're so exhausted. So we finally come down for tea. It's a um, typical like Turkish tea. And it's actually so decent. So we've sat down, we've got like baklava here. So we'll have baklava and tea. Thank you. There's the tea coming. But yeah, we're gonna have that. We're gonna chill for like five minutes. Why am I not in focus? I don't understand. Yeah, we're gonna have that and chill for five I'm minutes, not slept and then my, uh, you haven't slept. So I know. I don't even sleep. I was so. Oh my god, it was so funny. Literally, literally about two or three o'clock in the morning, all we can hear is like meowing, and I literally thought there was a cat outside our door. That's how loud it was. You don't want but it turned out to be. Um, I think I'll be fine because I haven't stopped sweet. You sure? Yeah, I don't want sugar. It's fine. Adol has two sugars in his tea, and I don't have any. This is three. Babe, you can get diabetes that way. Anyways, like I was saying. Sugar huh? I need some sugar. Rich. I know. You probably need coffee. We'll get coffee from Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. coffee fan I'm not. Yeah, guys, um literally we heard a, like a cat meowing and we literally thought it was outside the door, but guess what? It was literally outside the hotel. <laughs> we just had the window open. Yeah. It was so loud, I kid you not, I was like, what the hell is a cat literally outside? But it turned out to be Sorry, babe. Going in, yeah babes? Go on then. You having fun, darling? Yeah. No, it's a fun in it. I like the bizarre. It's so crazy though, isn't it? How people just like they jump on you. They jump on you, man. If you're, if you're coming here, you're not sure what you like so much. And off the price. Off the price, you. everything. Honestly, guys, they literally like if you just look at something in their shop, they'll jump on you hard. And you're just like, I'm just looking, I'm just looking. They're like, no, what do you want? What do you want? Let me get it for you. I'll try it. I'm like, it's so tiring. Like. We just want to look around sometimes, but they, they're very full on. So if you are coming to the bazaar, I hope you have your haggling skills on because adults are very good at haggling. I'm just like really, I get awkward, so I can't do it, but you're very good at doing that. So I'll give you that, that's for sure. Anyways, we are going to catch up with some tea and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Do you guys a little montage of the nice bazaar? Baby, where are we? What do you think of the Grand Bazaar? I love it. So Everyone is pouncing. I had a bit of a few arguments. If you turn around, it's so I had a few arguments, but. What can I say? Such a nice weather today, isn't it? Yeah, I'm so happy about the weather because in the morning it was actually really quite chilly. It's so nice. It's warm well, as well. It's warm. We're going to this uh, place here. There's a bit more side of a market. This is huge, guys. You get tired. So we're gonna go in there. Let's see yeah, what that's about. Very nice. Yeah. Zara out, yeah. <laughs> guys, if you come to Istanbul or anywhere probably in um, Turkey make sure you guys get the fresh orange juice it's so so nice and it's 10 lira, 10 lira which works pound, out to be one pound thirty which is so cheap for fresh orange juice so okay so we're going to lunch and we're gonna go here the most famous place of course how can you not look how busy it is it's so beautiful honestly and then look at him oh my god he looks literally so real it's so bizarre we got a statue of him as well that is literally crazy look how crazy and busy the place is you excited food time Yes guys, we are still shopping. I'm sitting down because I'm absolutely shattered. Like, Adol's upstairs and he's like getting shown all the watches and stuff and I'm just like so tired now. So I'm just about, just about sitting for like two minutes before we head out again. But we're in this really cool shop and the people here are so nice and so friendly. So we're really happy with the service here. I've got a few bits so as you can see here, shopping is so dangerous here in Istanbul. Like literally we spent so much but we're having so much fun, so that's fine. 
But anyways, I hope I don't take too long. I think we're gonna go back to the hotel, freshen up for a little bit, just like chill, probably have a shower, just like feel fresh again, and then probably go out for dinner. Food is definitely on the agenda for sure. But yeah, fingers crossed he comes soon because your girl's tired. Not cool. We made it back to the hotel guys and my legs are did i get a blister no i didn't get a blister but oh. my legs are pretty swollen ew did you guys just hear the fart <laughs> you absolute imbecile that is disgusting <sighs> do not come here oh. guys ew oh, shit. You're absolutely vile. Oh, oh my god, he is so disgusted. This is how, this is a true adult, guys. Thank god the window's open. <laughs> I can't even deal with him. He is so disgusting. Guys, look at Adol. He got a, a tan. How do you get oh, a tan? Bastard. Can you see what I mean? No. You got a massive tan. This is what happens Yo, every single time. Nice one. I told you got tanned. It's white right here. I told you that. You didn't believe me. Oh. Every time we go on holiday, it can be anywhere, he always gets a tan. I could wear no makeup and I still don't get a tan. Like, obviously, I'm not going to get a tan on my face if I'm wearing makeup. He always tans. I'm so jealous. But anyways, this is day two. So imagine towards the end of the holiday, you're going to look completely different. Well, I need to buy some protection. Mark. Yeah, you actually do because you tan so easily. But anyways, we are just going to chill. Basically, my mood is his mood right now. We are going to chill for a little bit, freshen up, and then head out for dinner later. But I'm just charging up my phone. We had to buy like one of those special like adapting charger thing imaging because uh, obviously we got the British one. Um, we got the normal charging and obviously theirs is completely different. So we had to get a charger slot. And finally, my phone's coming on. Can you guys see that? Yay. It's on. Yeah, it's coming on slowly. All day with a switched off phone. It's not cool. I want to oh, catch up on my messages. Okay. I want to upload pictures that I took today, so um, yeah, definitely looking forward to using my phone. And by the way, so guys, if you are coming to Turkey or Istanbul, get yourself a Vodafone a SIM card from the from UK. From the UK, because it's a lot cheaper than buying it here. Like here, the charge was about twenty twenty five pounds, and we bought it um, at Vodafone for literally tenner a tenner that gives you nine gig data and it gives us the same data as it gives us the same data like they were offering here so yeah a little tip for you guys is if you are coming get a sim from the uk because they work out it works out a lot we cheaper got two, we should have got two we just got one anyways we're gonna just chill right, oh my god we've got the windows open and the weather is so beautiful guys we so are nice so lucky we walked for hours we left the house well we had breakfast left the house about nine and now it's like Three. Grand Bazaar as well is the must. Make sure you go there. Yeah, a hundred percent. If you come to Istanbul, Grand Bazaar is the one. Anyways, we are gonna just chill, and I'll probably catch you guys when we are off for dinner. But thank God for Starbucks because mate. look at the color between me and you. We look like completely different people. People think I'm Turkish, yeah. Yeah, everyone thinks Adol's Turkish. When I went to Tunisia, they thought I was Tunisian. When I went to Dubai, they thought I was fucking was. I swear to God, this is not even a lie. Oh. When we first went for our, uh, for our honeymoon in Dubai, everyone thought he was like an Arab, His so they started speaking like... to him in Arabic. When he went to Tunisia, everyone started speaking to him in Tunisian because they thought he was Tunisian. And here, everyone thinks he's Turkish. Like, you look like you're <laughs> from different countries, Most apparently. Yeah, yeah, like how? And me, no one can guess where I'm from. Love that. <laughs> no one knows where I'm from. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm fine with that. But you? Well, someone said you're Polish. That was back in the UK. <laughs> that was like the biggest diss ever. That was at the gym. We're not uh, gonna go no into it. To We're not gonna go into it, but yeah, That's that not happened. Any nationalities. Yeah, we're never fans, but no. A few moments. Later. Okay, guys. So we have come for dinner at Lotti. Um, our first time trying this place. We've never obviously tried it. Never heard anything about it, but we were so hungry at this point. We, we said we're gonna go literally for anything. Um, yeah, we're just like chilling. It's kind of in central as well, so it's quite nice. And we'll let you know if the food's any good because we haven't had the food yet. But we'll let you know. Yeah, the area is really good. Yeah, so it's quite nice actually. But yeah, this is our view. You so hungry? Yeah, the basic things. Look at this one, Richie, Balenciaga, yeah? Yeah, guys, you like my jumper? I thought I'd be a bit stylish and dress up today. I bought this new scarf, white yeah. one. Finally, I got a white one. I don't been telling me for the longest time, longest time ever to get a white scarf. Yep. My white scarf is ruined. I've ruined. Got 
Mark's all over. Rips all over. Mark's is torn and he's blue. I got some new clothes. And love a life. Love a life? Yeah. yeah. Look at this food blogger. Concentration hard, hey babes. Lol, your face right now. <laughs> Hello, darling. You right, darling? You right? I'm not giving you any food. Yeah, cats everywhere. Oh, so cute, though, isn't it? He's looking at you now. Guys, look what Adol got me. It was so cute. A guy was literally walking down here and he was offering to give flowers, and then Adol bought one for me. How cute. So romantic. Thank you.